Hey guys, um, Malfunction here. Just going to do a couple of reviews today on Mandalorian, The Witcher, and also I wrote a couple of notes down to make sure I stick to my points, and, and an announcement for tomorrow. Um, if you're in Fungaray, there was this, um, this pamphlet, sorry it's backwards, uh, put up by uh, Fungaray District Council, and they love it here. Um, promotion that we've got going on so this is the endless summer festival uh, from January to March 2020 so yeah so one of the major ones like I said last week we we're going to looking at being at Artbeat uh, one of, it's one of my um, yeah it's, it's, it's an amazing event so I, I really love it it's a lot of festival environment bands uh, art craft uh, all ages in the Rose Gardens behind the library and it's just um, just an amazing event. So don't forget to um, attend that on, on the Saturday, the 1st of February. How do I get 2nd of February? I don't know. But it's the 1st of February. The first, first Saturday in Artbeat. And first Saturday in February. So it's an endless summer. You can pick up these um, pamphlets or um, brochures at... Um, Either at the eyesight here in uh, Romanga or out at um in the city uh sorry at the museum, the hub. And the other one is the um, the other one is the visitor map. So you can pick up the, the visitor map, which is a fold out little brochure, which gives you a, an idea of what's you know of where where to get around if you're a visitor to Fungaray. You, you know, it's good to have that in your pocket, or even if you're local, just to pick it up and to just to know where things are. Um, the other one here is also the Art, Northern Art Guide, put out by um, Creative Northern. Tells you exactly um, in Northern where all the art places are, uh, galleries um, where the artists, you know, have their own little um, outlets and stuff. Right, so that's done. Um, Merry Christmas for um, is it Thursday tomorrow is the 24th Wednesday I guess yeah Merry Christmas and if I don't, if we don't do this again this side of this New Year so Happy New Year all right so last night I um, I was supposed to see the um, the Rise of Skywalker but the last two days I haven't been feeling really well uh, physically uh, and so I wasn't able to go out last night and watch the rise of skywalker with my fam and we've you know we've basically watched the last three with all the kids with the young ones it's the first time they had you know they were able to watch experience star wars um so that was a bit of a bummer but on the good side on you know on the plus side i got to stay at home and just chill out and watch the mandalorian which i must say i really liked uh it really reminded me of like A New Hope, the whole, you know, the first trilogy, even that first movie, it felt like, you know, there was, there's this whole mission involved in it. And it just felt like you didn't even know who this character was, apart from the mythos around the Mandalorian, who are, um, who are this, um, who are this religious organization, which, um, you know, weapons are their thing. And they basically go out there and they do, you know, they they're like um, they're part of a guild, and they um, go out and do jobs for money. All right, so basically bounty hunters. You probably already know that, but what? So you've got this one character who's basically trying to get back his his tribe's honor back after some sort of devastation, uh, some battle where they're now basically seen as some sort of um, you know a lower class of assassins. And so they're building up and they're hiding, they're hidden away. And you hear about this one guy, Mando, right? So he's out there, um, he's got a task to do a job, you know, and he goes on to do this job. Not trying to give away spoilers, but of course you've seen all the things already now. So there's no point in me saying, no, you know, spoilers. So, um, so there's a baby um, alien who looks like a Yoda because we don't know who he is but it's not Yoda it's just 
because Yodas, we don't even know what, what a Yoda is, what tribe, what alien verse that Yoda is. So, so I like the Mandalorian because it's mysterious. It gives you enough of a story to want to keep watching it. It's only half eight half hour episodes. Last one comes out tomorrow, I think it is, and um, or the last of the season anyway. But it feels like that's how um, um, a Star Wars story should be. From start to eighth, seventh episode, it's, it feels like you should be watching this and you're back watching the original series where there isn't... Everything sort of feels like it's, um, you know, it's sort of not CGI, not everything CGI. It feels like that, where it feels like there's puppetry, it feels real, it feels like you're, fo you know, you're, you're, you're emotionally um, inclined to like these characters where there's like, you know, there's moments where you're like, I feel for these characters, even though all he does is goes out and does bounty hunting. And so that's the attachment that you have these two characters. And one of the things that you feel that I feel disconnected from the, the new trilogy is that there's no sort of connections to these characters. That you don't really want to, there's nothing pulling you to them. When you do feel like you're pulled to them, to like them emotionally, they take that away. And, and so you want to be able to like people or aliens or creatures or humanoids or even... Um, uh, robots in these in these trilogies but you don't feel like it because as soon as you like it the rug gets pulled out you don't like it anymore so what I feel about the Mandalorian is that you have connections to the characters you have connections to uh, interesting characters you, like there's a there's where there's a part where Bill Burr the comedian gets a play and of course if you've been um, you know been following this um, the Facebook page you know that um, Bill that Bill Burr has a, his own TV series which is an animation series, which is sort of worked around called F is for Family, which is an adult's mature character um, about families growing up in the 80s, uh, around about 70s, 80s. And it's really cool because it's a real good connection to the characters because it feels like that's, I mean, that's the age that I grew up in. So I can say, well, you know, the time that I grew up in as a child and I can see that family. And it's like, that's the way the core of the families used to be, you know, nothing's really nice and friendly but everything's connection you're connecting you love your family you're connecting your siblings even though you don't may not like them and that the age gap sort of makes you not like them and so there's always a struggle and but it's a really good series so if you haven't seen efforts for family if you're watching this you're probably already 18 so do give it a go all right it's really worthwhile i think it's on netflix um, so yeah, so Mandalorian was was a really is a really good show, and I'm hoping that they stick to that formula, that they stick to the whole uh, way of originally doing Star Wars, writing stories based around characters, based around um, a mythos, a mythology, and character arcs that you just want to feel that you enjoy. You know, these are characters that you can actually relate to, or that you are. You know, it's it's a you know it's an op opera in space but you can still connect to them as characters as people who are going about doing their business um it was interesting to see trying to figure out where this all fits in when it fits in into the timeline of um you know of the star wars mythology and you know especially the trilogy the original trilogy um and i'm not you know i'm trying to figure out where it, it fits in and it's you know that's the mystery of it you're still not you don't know where it fits in and but they're keeping that sort of like under the belt all right so that's you know so that's the uh, mandalorian uh, and i gave it a 10 i'm giving a 9.9 9.5 out of 10 because i don't know what the last episode's going to be like okay the witcher so i said because i was just completely finished i think it was up eight episodes cool i have i have i, have, I don't know much about the, um, the games i don't know much about the books i don't know much about the comic books though they're all the graphic novels are out and all that which i want to get into reading because the, as soon as i was like watch the first episode i was like this is really good and if you don't you know sometimes it takes one or two episodes to feel like that about something but if you feel like that about the first episode straight away and you think man i want to read the book i want to find out more about this character then you know that they did a good job because you sort of want you don't want to be sort of thinking well is it i'm not really sure if i like this character the mystery is there 
and and um, you know the journey is there. The, un the other thing is that it can be a bit off-putting is that it's not done in a linear way where you're like A B C D, where you sort of th the timelines are all over the place and you're sort of thinking, well, what's really happening? But the cool thing about it, it, it is getting where it needs to go in the first season because obviously they, um, I read online that they have a seven seven um, season. Um, story arc they're going to go towards because of the books are already out. Like I said, I don't know much about the books or the games or the comic books, but the, you know, I love this series and I'm going to, I'm giving it a ten out of ten because everything about this uh, show isn't you know isn't like sort of uh, hurting any other character. It's not like trying to put down any other race. It's not like trying to put down any other age group. It's basically out there going well. This is a story, and everything's really cool. Um, and characters that do their thing, um, you know, they fall in love with who they fall in love with. They don't fall. They fall out of love. Who they fall out of love. So it's not like sort of fake, um, fake um, sort of ticking off boxes in this series, which is what I love about it because I think it's a really good show to end on the year, because especially with the Mandalorian, as I said, these two shows, one a fantasy, one a sci-fi, the two of them really sort of. Um, you know, go back to actually making things enjoyable in the genre of sci-fi and fantasy. Um, and so with um, with The Witcher, it sort of allows a, allows a, a viewer who, to actually enjoy what's going on in the series because it's not trying to be political. It's not trying to be, you know, bait you into something stupid. It's not trying to, you know, have tick off points, uh, boxes, whatever. It's just a good show uh, from start to finish. And it's worthwhile watching. I mean, it's on Netflix, so you, you know you obviously if you've got off Netflix, go out and you know put your time in to watch it. You won't be disappointed because it's not trying to, you know, um, trying to preach to you anything. It's just you know making you enjoy what it is. And I think it's, it's such a cool thing to be able to at the end the year off enjoying something for what it is. And you know you got all the magic. You've got on um, you know you've got the ups and downs of that um, of that mythology of the witcher you've um, you know and and um, if, you, if you want to read more in the meantime if you want to know more you can always go back to the um, to the books or the comic books so yeah I really enjoyed it excuse me All right so the next thing I want to talk about is stress at Christmas we know that during um, Christmas um, you're going to be around people that you may not like. You're going to be around people in your family that you may not like. Or you're going to be around people that you like and you enjoy and you want to spend time with them, but you can't spend time with them because somebody else is trying to spend time with them. Now, I really thought about this over the last couple of weeks, thinking about how, because I was going to have a, um, a guest come in and speak, but very busy person, so we weren't able to do that, but we'll do that in the new year. Now, so I'm just going to talk about stress times during Christmas, especially, you know, Especially when there's alcohol involved, or 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 recreational drugs, right? So you're gonna find that you have to be pre-prepared to deal with people before you even go into the situation of a party or around family or New Year's Eve when you're around strangers at parties or so on. Be prepared beforehand how you're gonna deal with things, right? Have your tick boxes there, right? So I'm gonna deal with this this way, this way, this way. If I'm faced with the situation, I'm going to deal with it this way. So it's very be prepared as you go into this holiday, you know, into the Christmas and holiday period, being around friends and family, knowing that beforehand that there could be some stress, that there could be fights, and how you're going to deal with it beforehand. Make sure you're aware that you take time for yourself away from this, from the situation and the stress. So just go and chill out and what get online or you know what watch a YouTube video or watch some anime or something. Or something that's going to help you get away from the stress and then go back into it and then go back out of it if you're getting stressful because you want to make this period enjoyable for everybody as well as yourself hey you might be the one who's causing stress if you are take note and step away from that okay last bit tomorrow we're releasing a sunspot teaser uh, as I mentioned last week was a uh, 10 to 12 page teaser to let you know what it's about so yeah, it's going to be on risingsuncomics.com. That's risingsuncomics.com. Um, hopefully I've removed it for the link in uh, below, but you 
But if you follow this page, you already know that we are part of Rising Sun Comics. So, if yeah, if you want to figure out what what we're doing with Rising Sun Comics, what's um, with the Sunspot magazine, which is for adults only, right? Um, and see what's what it's about. You can get go online and download it for free, and the teaser that is. So um, yeah, that's my gift to you guys for this year. Last year, we had the with the teaser for Red Dot. This year you got this one. Um, yeah, so there's various styles um, of comic books and uh, stories in there, uh, styles of art, and hopefully we're hoping that in February we'll do a, a um, you know, a Kickstarter or Indiegogo, get it out there and try to raise um, some money towards getting it published over a three-month period. So, yeah. And again, finishing off, if... Um, Grab one of these. This is the Endless Summer Festival, so you know what's going on in Whangarei over, was it January to um, January to March, uh, 2020. So you can pick this up from the eyesight in Ramanga, or Central. You can go to the Hub, which is the um, Whangarei Museum, across from Pack and Save. And if you go in there, they'll give you one of these, or you can pick one of these up to know what's going on in Whangarei. Art-wise, festival. You got the Fritter Festival coming up on the 20th of March. Um, you've got the art beat which we're going to be involved with hopefully coming up on the 1st of February there's so much things going on uh, you got tours you got fest um, you got music you know you got 5k here performing on the 21st of uh, February at the judge All right so 660 uh, after party and so on there's so much going on there's dances going on so yeah pick this up and um, you'll be able to figure out you know find out what's going on for you Especially over the holidays when you've got nothing, you know, when you're trying to figure out what to do with the kids and the family, go check it out. Uh, and it's free, all right? So, yeah, that's from the More FM, from our district council sponsored. Uh, yeah. Love it here as always in from already. So, yeah. Oh, the other one I mentioned earlier on was um, Northern Art Guide from the Creative Northern crew. Don't forget to pick this up. This will give you an idea of what's going on around art in from already. And Northern. So that's all I got to say for um, for this yeah for this week for this video. Uh, thanks for joining me and Kakite Ano and Merry Christmas, Merry Kirimite, and a Happy New Year and be safe. Um, see you again soon.